Good morning. We are going to first get started with my eyes as always. So I am using my Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later eye primer. And today is Sunday. Did y'all have a good weekend? I know a lot of people are on spring break. I totally wish that was a thing for people without kids because when everyone's working so much, it's hard to go on vacation, but we are headed to Florida next week. Really excited about that. Okay, so we're gonna do something a little different today. I know I am panning my Lorac Pro and I am panning my Naked, but it is the weekend, so I'm going to do some project pan items, but I'm kinda just gonna play with my makeup today. So this is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Moonlight. And I am painting this. I have like some mascara or something on my on my eyelid. So I'm just putting that all over the lid. I love Laura Mercier caviar sticks. I do wish that they were cruelty free. But I have a lot of them right now, so when I get to using them up, then I will worry about repurchasing. So now I'm going in with my Naked palette, and I have been painting this lately. And this is just a big dome shadow brush. I'm just going to take the shade Naked, which is right there, just kind of put it on, and I'm just going to kind of blend it into the grease. Not doing anything super crazy today. Today I'm just playing on like cleaning around the house, hanging out, things like that. It is a gorgeous Sunday. So I'm just kind of buffing that into my eye. So next I'm going to do my brow bone. I'm going to just take Virgin, which is that shade right there. We are just going to put it on the brow bone. So I have been on a hunt to replace my Lorac white eyeshadow since I loved just a stark white for my brow bone. And I wasn't able to find a cruelty free one. I did end up getting a non-cruelty free eyeshadow but I went and I swatched all over Sephora looking for one. I looked at Anastasia Beverly Hills, I looked at Urban Decay, I looked at Kat Von D, all the stuff in the store. Then I just had to ask like a Sephora person for help. I was like I want a matte white eyeshadow and she started showing me a bunch and then she's like oh that has some shimmer, that has some shimmer. So I ended up with the Sephora brand white iris I think it's called. It's actually downstairs. So I don't have it to share with you guys. I'm just gonna have a sip of my sparkling ice. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> but yeah so I've been looking for that for a while and I just was like you know what I finished I finished the Lorac white in here. Next I am moving on and you guys are seeing I'm using my virgin. Almost done with that. So then after that, the next like white shade is in my Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells is this white shade right here. So I'm going to use that, but I want to have a stark white on the days I really want it. And then the next like white oldest in my collection is Undercover in my Lorac Unzipped palette. But even then, it's not as white as I want it to be. I mean, it's a little bit more, but it's still more like a cream than a stark white. So I have stuff to play with, but I did end up getting that Sephora eyeshadow. It was $10, so whatever. So I'm using my Alchemist palette from Kat Von D, and I'm going to do the shade Blue Sapphire, which is that shade right there. And I'm going to use my Royal and Lang Nickel Medium Eyeshadow Brush. And I'm just going to get the product and apply it to my eyelid. Just 
just wanted something a little different today. Have fun with my makeup instead of the same boring stuff. I plan on only taking like fun makeup to Florida. So I'm going to do a video sharing with you guys what all I am bringing. And I'm going to try and do go a little bit crazier and just kind of have fun with my makeup. Have some color for my beach trip. So that will be fun. I'm going to go into my Lorac Pro palette and use up Slate. Well, not use up. I'm going to use Slate. Um, what I started doing with my pan that palette for my Lorac Pro, um, the first couple, the first updates that I share with you guys, I used up a product. Like, I used up Nude, which is right there. So you'll see that for the next month on May 1st, you'll see that because I didn't use it up before then. Um, so I'll leave that blank, but the previous ones I'll cross off so you guys know. I have already panned those before, but I did recently use that, if that makes sense. So that's kind of what I'll be doing for my Pan That palette, just to keep everyone on the same track, as well as try and do those, um, do the whole previous video picture stuff for the update, so you guys can see my progress with it. So yeah, I'm just using Slate on the outer corner. I do really love the Lorac eyeshadows. They are pretty easy to pan, but I love the pigmentation with it. So now I'm just taking Naked again with a fluffy brush just to kind of blend it all in. And I'm going back in with the large shader Sigma brush with the shade Virgin. And I'm just going to apply it right in the inner corner of my eye. Okay. So next I'm going in with my Smashbox. This is the Photo Finish Hydrating Eye Primer. And I'm painting this in my pan, Project 10 pan. And I just am going to apply a little bit underneath my eyes. I don't feel like it does that amazing job at um, illuminating it, but it is a very hydrating primer for your under eyes. It does have a little bit of a brightening effect compared to not having it, but it's not something that when I use this little sample up that I'm going to repurchase. It is nice to have a nice little addition before all of your concealers, things like that. So I'm actually not going to put primer all over my face just because I am going to be using a powder foundation. But I did under my eyes because I am going in with concealers. So this is the Maybelline Instant Age Brightener. So I'm just kind of doing a little triangle. And then I just have the shade Light Pale and I'm just going to go around my nose, down my nose and any blemishes that I see. That I just want a little extra coverage. And I don't have my Wet Beauty Blender, so I'm just going to use my ring finger and middle finger to blend that in. I'm not doing anything too crazy today, even though I have blue eyeshadow on now, but it kinda goes with my shirt, which you can't see. I have like a Carolina Panther shirt on. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate from you guys, that don't like the Panthers, they did not do good this season. Ever since they lost the Super Bowl, they've kind of been not that amazing. Cam just needs to get his head in the game and stop being a kid. Pretty much, he gets all upset, overreacts, and then just ruins it for everyone, I feel like. I mean, we really shouldn't have got rid of Steve Smith. That's the truth. Okay, so concealer is on. I know I apply things different than other people. Most people do foundation than concealer, but especially with a powder foundation, you need to make sure to do 
concealer than foundation. So this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. The shade I have is Light Medium Neutral. I've had this for a while. I'm almost done with it. I'm not going to put it in like a project pan or anything. I'm just going to use it up naturally. But I love this for days. I just want a light sheer coverage. I actually might be done with this today. Have a little puppy that wants to come in, I think. Yeah, this actually might be the finish, the finishing face for this product. Um, I don't know if I would repurchase this. I do think it was easy on days. I did not want a liquid foundation. But it's not something that I feel like I gravitate towards too much. I've had this probably for a little over two years, if I can remember. If not, I'll put how long I've had it right here. But I've had this for a while. I just prefer my Urban Decay. I prefer like less full coverage, like BB creams, things like that. Favorite foundation is the Urban Decay Naked. So, and in my Staple Sunday video, which I'll be giving you guys, that's the next video I'm filming, filming once I get my makeup on, um, I've been using the Kat Von D Locket foundation, and I'm not that big of a fan of it. It's just, I guess, too full coverage for me. I also swatched the Hourglass Vanish foundation, and I wasn't a fan of that either, so... I think I'm just going to stick with my BB creams and things like that. I don't think I need too much coverage, but go down my neck. But it is something I think I might be able to get one or two more uses of this product. So we'll see. Let's see. Yeah, I'm like I have. I don't know if you can see. Pretty down to the wire. So it's only like that little chunk. So I'm going to keep using this this week. I'll probably be done with it this week coming up. So I'm going in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I have the shade Light Bronze. I purchased this after all of the hype on YouTube. And I let the hype kind of simmer down. But then I was just interested in it again. So I purchased this in like December. I love the way this looks on the skin. I think it blends in and is a gorgeous shade, but not a fan of the scent. I do not like sunscreeny scents, so once I use this up, I'm not going to repurchase it. I like the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil's better than this, but I am going to hit pan and use this up. For a blush, we're going to end with my Milani Adulce Pink Blush. I've been working on hitting pan on this, and you can see the dome is pretty much done. So I just need to hit pan and use this baby up. I love the shade. I think it's perfect for the summertime. It's just a nice pink. has some gold flecks to it. I always go in with my big fluffer brush to just kind of blend it in after I do that. So now we're going to go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Foundation and Soft um, Skin <laughs> Highlight and Soft and Gentle. And I'm using my favorite highlighting brush. This is the Makeup Forever 140 brush. And we're just going to apply that. I'm no stitching. Love this highlight. I keep forgetting about it in my collection, but this is a great oldie but a goodie product from MAC. Now going in with my Too Faced You're So Fine sketch marker in black. I have so many little baby hairs.
but I pretty much did this look yesterday but I used the Alchemist shade in ultraviolet amethyst over and I like the way it changed the effect of the Laura Mercier caviar stick so it's just an easy look to do um, next I'm gonna go in with my essence give me brow or make me brow I'm thinking benefit and this is a good cruelty free brow gel I'm out of my Anastasia Beverly Hills so I'm waiting until the sale at Sephora to get another one I don't typically do too much to my brows. They definitely have hair and are full enough that I don't need to do all that too much. Every now and then I get like my brow is or a shadow in there, but I think today since it's Sunday, I just needed to kind of tame them, give them a little bit of color. So I'm going to curl on my lashes with my tar lash curler. And the mascara I'm using right now is from Benefit. It is their real mascara. So that is kind of the finished face look and I'm going to finish off with my NYX Butter Lipstick in Pops Explosive. So this is the finished look for today. I think it's definitely a pretty spring look and it was pretty easy to do and apply. Um, a lot of Project Pan items, but yeah, you can definitely switch up things in your collection when you are panning, like I am panning that Laura Mercier Caviar Stick, but you can't even tell that I'm wearing the same brown shade I've been wearing pretty much every day, and that's how much I have left to go. So really happy about that. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you are interested in more Get Ready With Me's, then let me know by liking this video and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye!